Alexis, Minister Geronimo. Welcome to the Gospel Album. Parenta. Alienation. I just want to preach for 11. Call me at 313 443 I'm available. I'm available. Pass on. And you know this, Christine. <laughs> In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light, and there was light, and God saw light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day. In the darkness he called night In the evening and the morning With the first day And God said Let there be a firmament In the midst of the waters And let it divide the waters From the waters And God made the firmament And God divided the waters Which were under the firmament From the waters which were above the firmament And it was so And God called The firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land out. And the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass. The herd you will see, and the fruit tree you will drink after his time, will see this in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and the herd you will see after his time, and the tree you will drink will see what's in itself after his time. And God saw that it was good. In the evening and the morning, on the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good in the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great wells and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wind fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fire multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good, and God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful 
and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves up upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree in a seed. To you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Genesis chapter 2, verses 7 and 9. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man began to live his soul. And the Lord God planted a garden each with an eagle. And Zary put the man whom he has formed, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is planted to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and a tree of knowledge of good and evil. But at the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that God is real, thou shalt kill it. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. And out in the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam. Gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a happy for him. And God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. It took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh. It stands around. And the rib was the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is not bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. As they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Now, the serpent, Genesis chapter 3, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you dig it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree to be desired to make her wise. <laughs>
She turned on the front door and did it and came also to her husband with her and he did it and the eyes of them both were opened as they knew that they were naked and they saw a fig leaves together and made themselves aprons they were cursed but God didn't separate them from one another he kicked them out of the garden of Eden so why oh why do I have five kids and I can't see them Jesus is of the Lord he gave me my son back he gave me my daughter back with the first baby mother with the second baby mother who's not in their life the grandmother is keeping them hostage they're supposed to believe in God. But God didn't separate the family. He didn't separate the man from the woman. When the serpent tricked them, but at the same time, they didn't trust God in his word. And the third baby mama, Lord, please be with her. I know she's my wife. But the pillar of salt She's fighting. I'm going to be with her. Thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Parental. Alienation.